a warning that the participants in this saga have now used some pretty colourful language, uh, like in this clip that you're about to hear. He's slut-shaming me. That is what he's doing. Women right around this country uh, know it. Men, decent men, know it. And I'm not prepared to sit here and be intimidated and bullied. It's offensive. And he has shown over and over again that he is unfit to be in the parliament. Sarah Hanson-Young speaking on RN Breakfast yesterday morning uh, for his response. Uh, David Lionhelm joins me now in the Breakfast studio. Good morning to you. Good morning. Did you slut shame Sarah Hanson-Young? Absolutely not. Do you know what it is? I'm, I'm struggling actually to understand it. Perhaps you'd like to explain it. Uh, you must have read her explanation. You must have heard it by now. Uh, do you not think that you have slut shamed her? No, I don't. Um, what I was uh, doing in the chamber was um, calling out um, uh, misandry, um, double standards. She's, uh, she said, uh, was the effect that all men are rapists. And she um, did, crucially, though, she didn't say that. You're, you're saying she didn't as if it's a fact. You weren't there and I was. Well, there's no record of her ever saying that. And, that's and right. in fact, you don't remember what she said. So we well, have to take it uh, that she didn't say it. She did not say all men. She just said men. Okay. That's your interpretation, isn't it? What's well, your interpretation that she deliberately left out the word all? So it's not... It's not, not, it's not my interpretation. We just sure. listened to the audio. She did not say all men. It's your interpretation that she didn't mean all when she was saying men. She didn't say some men <laughs> either. So That's nonsense. So, she just did not say all, all men. Right. We